Hey, this is Shiraz just giving you a heads up that when energy shifts, I yawn and I cough. So you're going to hear that in the video and just giving you the heads up. I'm not sick. I'm not tired. That's just how it goes. So here we go. Enjoy. Um, I have a, a little thing that happened um, and I'm not sure why I'm reacting the way I'm reacting to it. Um, I had a friend and we've been friends for like almost 10 years. Um, last time I saw her was in February. We went to an event with another person. We had a great time. And um, then I went away on vacation, so I hadn't talked to her for a bit. Then when I came back, uh, COVID started. So, you know, I called her, left her a message to say, how are you? How's everything going? Um, and nothing. And it's just been really bugging me. Like, you know, I mean, I called her a couple of times. I texted her a couple of times. The only time that she responded was at Easter when I said, happy Easter. She said, thank you, you too. And that was kind of it. Okay. So I, I am, I don't know what happened. And I don't know if I can do anything to fix it. And... I don't know if I should continue trying to contact her or if she's basically just, you know, chosen to, you know, end our friendship. Um, I don't know. So I'm just really sort of in this weird space. And I, it's really, and it's been very hurtful. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's only because I don't know what happened, mm -hmm. you know, or if I've got some other beliefs on this, I don't know. It's just like, it's really been bugging me. So I don't know if you could shed some light on it, that would be awesome. So if she doesn't contact you, is it because of something you've done? I don't know. See, and the I don't know doesn't come up true. So if she doesn't contact you, does it have to mean you've done something wrong? Yes. Okay. Are you willing to destroy that belief? That would be nice, yes. Okay, that's not a real yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, there's a little weird energy in there. <laughs> Does everyone leave because of what you do? How? <laughs> I guess that's your answer. I don't know. I guess yes. That question. Holy. Although I, I have to say there's been times, not so much in friendship, but more in dating where I, I suppose... I, I've been leaving because I didn't want to be left. Okay. So you, you know, but not in friendships. Like usually friendships, you can talk about what's going on. If something bothers you or if something bothers the other person, like I've, I've had these conversations with other people and, you know, we're usually able to kind of resolve what's going on. Okay. So are you willing to step out of the story that everyone leaves because of what you do? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to have all the information to be happy yes <laughs> are you willing to destroy that belief uh, yes <laughs> So it feels that this is less about what happened to your friend and more about being in control of the situation. Okay. Do people have to behave the way you want them to behave? 
No. <laughs> the smile that came over your face before you lied. So, no, because, you know what, trust, like I, I, I've struggled with that as well. And I thought that I've been kind of working on it. And I came to the conclusion, I mean, I can't control people and, you know, I can't make them behave the way that I would behave. And I've been trying to just kind of let it go. So that's why I was smiling because, you know. So haven't quite let it go yet. So I guess not. Are you willing to destroy the belief that people should behave the way you want them to behave? Yes, let's do it. <coughs> Are you willing to destroy the belief that the information has to be there as soon as you demand it? Yes. So, yeah, you don't know what's going on over there. She she could just have a lot of shit going on in her life and not be able to respond. Or she could decide that you could have got out of frequency with her and, and that could be the end of the friendship. So you can keep reaching out, but at a certain point, if she doesn't respond and you're, and if you're okay in that energy, then just realize that it's time for that friendship to move on. Mm -hmm. I think I've gotten to the point where I'm, I'm kind of maybe there, maybe not completely there yet, but heading that way. Okay. But I still have a lot of sadness about mm -hmm. it, you know, because it's like 10 years. Like, I don't know, like say something, you know, mm -hmm. not you, her. Like, I'm like, did you say something? I guess it's back to my problem. <laughs> You're supposed to say something. Okay, so then be sad for a while. Let those emotions come out. Mm -hmm. And let them process and then get back to happiness. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are you feeling? Uh, honestly, like I want to cry right now. Well, that's the sadness that we said let yeah. that happen. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm feeling. Okay. So the hard, the hard thing here is being in acceptance of the situation because the resistance to the situation can actually perpetuate the situation. So it's like if you're if you're in debt and you're resisting the debt and you're focused on the debt, then you're actually attracting and holding the debt. Mm -hmm. Right? If you're resisting that there's a lack of communication and you don't like the lack of communication, then you're stuck in the lack of communication and you're creating it and anchoring it in. How am I creating it? I'm not sure I follow. So if there's a lack of communication and you're in resistance to it, that resistance holds it in place. Right. If you're okay with it, if she's just not talking to me, well, we'll, we'll just go, we'll, I'll continue on and just see if she pops up at a later date. If she does, it's fine. If she doesn't, then, you know, I know that that relationship's over and there's, there's no, oh, she needs to answer me and tell me what the hell is going on before I can move on for this. That's all resistance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and that definitely feels like how I've been feeling, so. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, when you, when you move out of that resistance, then typically things will come to a conclusion that is in more ease. If you've moved on or she, she contacts you and says, well, just wanted to let you know that I don't want to be friends and here's the reason, or, mm. right? or she contacts you and says, look, I just had a busy time in my life. I'm, I'm better now and you can talk about what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So, and I know it's hard because you care about the person you've got 10 years there, but the resistance just makes it worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Hey, this is Shiraz. And if you made it this far, please click like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And if you would like shifts like the person in the video, subscribe to our monthly magic program. The link is in the description. You will get monthly coaching as well as emails going out to help boost your vibration, your wealth, your success, and as well as a lot of other perks. And remember, be well, be aware, and be magical. <music>